putting this SUV to the test. There's some springs up here, so we're hoping we can find some wildlife. After I asked him if we were going to bring that, I know. <laughs> we have our first buck sighting on our backcountry hunt. So, what do you think, babe? Cool. We're like... Can't wait to get up there. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. Now we're just gonna chase him off the top of the mountain, I guess, because we gotta go up there. Almost there. Gorgeous. Hey, okay. he's reading the directions. Packing up our first camp. Lots of stuff. The, um, we had some hunters who we, we camped next to and uh, they ended up shooting a buck and um, not able to recover. So it's just us now. So we're gonna head up over the mountain and see if we can find more deer. Well, I just finished glassing a couple bucks and we're gonna make some breakfast. We uh, ran off and forgot our tin pot. Uh, and so we're kind of using a makeshift, going back and forth between the poor Yanny. That's gonna suck, but I'm gonna remember coming on this beautiful Nevada deer hunt every time I look at my burned jetty. Excited for food? Yes. Okay. We are watching one of the three bucks that I saw bed this morning. I'm gonna zoom in. So, there's a little forky and a good sized four by four probably 140s that bedded right in there. Yeah, so Amanda got a little bit of altitude sickness. Tell them about that. Um, water is scarce in Nevada, so I was running short while Michael was hunting, and I got sick. Left her as much as I could, though, I, I will say. Yeah. I had to go get water. It was a big deal, um, having to go get water. I had to get it every day, and it was probably over a mile. It was over a probably mile. Probably three hours round trip. Yeah. Just to get water. So, I'm really glad that we packed a bunch of water in. I We packed up, and then I went back down and packed up more water, and I'm so glad we did. We've got a little bit of a flat trying to off-road <laughs> in this butte right here. I call tires. Old Blue. We have brand new tires and already have a flat. Yeah. Uh. All right, so it's the end of the first day. 
I have not seen any mule deer in the high country. It's about 7 p.m. I'm gonna glass this bull. I'm below it now, but actually it gives me a really good view of it. Um, just to see if anything pops out and I'll do the same thing tomorrow. This is the bull that I missed a giant buck in in 2017. The beetle kill here is horrendous, so they won't be able to hide quite as good in the timber. And if I can see where they go, then I'll have a, sco a stock. So anyway, time for sweet potato, chicken and rice. Yum, yum. I'm just gonna pack out. Um, I can, you know, I can make do with some fewer of deer sightings, but you know, I can't make bucks pop out of the mountain. <laughs> that's for sure. So, gotta know when to quit on an area. I think uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So, all right. Had some uh, power steering issues with my truck. Got that figured out. Um, we're about ready to hit the trailhead. These are some goose feathers which I love oh dear oh. I lightened up the pack so we're ready to go I missed a couple days just some work issues and um, truck issues and all that stuff so back in the game for another few days and then I gotta head home well here's our beautiful camp I'm getting ready to have a bite to eat, it's about 4.30 or 5 o'clock. And so I'll glass this evening a little bit. Um, I wanna see what's over on this side. I have no idea. Um, so I'm gonna pop over there this evening and kinda of see what's there. This side over here, it, it looks like it's pretty open to the valley and I'm not sure that there will be any deer there. I didn't see any glassing just a minute ago. So uh, yeah, there's my water, it's boiling, so. I'll keep you guys posted. So, we just saw our first buck in the high country. And he looks like a three by three. I think I tried to get some video for you guys. I might get some more, but man, I'm excited. We'll just watch him. He's probably getting ready to get up any minute now he's still there and we'll just watch him and see if he beds where I can get to him if not I'll just wait him out um, I've got two more mornings here for sure maybe maybe three more so if I'm seeing one I may see another I've blasted everywhere else just a couple other does is all I've seen a couple fawns with them so one of them's over here one of them's over there and I think there's one down here somewhere well, looks like I have some competition. What do they say, red sky at morning, sailor's morning? <laughs> yeah, I think there's a storm gonna be blowing in. I can kind of feel it. I need to check the weather. Beautiful morning. I'll be glassing here in just a, about five minutes. Well, we found our one buck. Same buck I was chasing yesterday. Now, I'll show to you. You can barely see him. We'll have to point him out in the video. But unfortunately, I will be very lucky if he beds in an area that I can get to him. So, <clears throat> we'll just see if we can find any other deer. Doubtful. Um, I haven't found any other than a couple does yet. But we'll keep glassing. 